Would you pray with me? Our Heavenly Father, we thank you for your presence in this room and we thank you for indeed your great faithfulness. We come before you today in honor and recognition of the great bounty that you've poured out upon us. We come today to celebrate these great achievements and we come today to take all these achievements and place them at your feet. We submit to you and to the Lordship of Jesus Christ. As we celebrate this moment, we lift up your name, we magnify you, and we thank you for your faithfulness. We ask all of this in the power and the name and the matchless grace of Jesus Christ, our Lord and Savior, amen. amen. You may be seated. Graduates, it sounds like you're getting comfortable in those chairs. Don't get too comfortable. You're going to be standing up eventually. On behalf of the Board of Trustees and the executive team and the faculty and staff of William Jessup University, I want to invite you to the 2019 spring commencement for William Jessup University. Will you honor our graduates? I want to encourage you, I want to encourage you in the audience, if you would remain seated, we do have professional photographers, we promise we'll capture the special moments, uh, we also will have a special uh, photography for each graduate as they process across the stage and receive their fake diploma uh, and a towel for me. I do want to tell you a little bit about this class. It's an intriguing class. This is the first year that we've actually had a winter commencement where approximately 100 students graduated, and then this commencement where close to 300 will graduate. It is the largest graduating class in the history of William Jessup University. Now they give me these statistics every year and I always look for the statistics and I look for counter-cultural trends. And let me just share a couple uh, of them with you. This is shocking to me in light of our enrollment, but if I'm reading this correctly, 60% of our graduates are male. Whoa, dudes, yeah. The youngest graduate is age 20. The oldest graduate is age 64. Come on. You come from seven different states, 12 different countries, and you speak nine languages. Wow, that's amazing. That's very impressive. Uh, we have a number of statistics that I'm a little bit concerned about, but we'll be talking about this later, and your diploma will be withheld until we fix this. 76% of you report that you attend church regularly. The remaining 24% will not be receiving your diploma until you correct that. <laughs> More than a third of you are actively involved in ministry while you are at Jessup. 70% of you are employed immediately after graduation. And fully 81% of you express an intent to go on to graduate school. That's impressive. But I will say, dads and moms here, these folks are exhausted. So they need a little bit of time to chill before you pressure them to go on to graduate school, okay? Give them a little bit of time to chill. Many of you are going on to vocations and graduate schools in a number of different spheres of activity across our culture and across our society. And we are unbelievably proud of you. The mission of William Jessup University is in partnership with the church. We educate transformational leaders for the glory of God. And we trust and pray that as you are released in the various ministries and streams of society, that you will impact society for his good and for his glory. Just this morning, I received a note from a graduate from about three years ago who said, Dr. Jackson, after these last three years of working hard, I finally have been for formally accepted into the Juilliard School of Music to begin my graduate studies there in composition. You will hear his name, you will listen to his music in the years to come, and my prayer is it will shape culture, and that's my prayer for each one of you. You will shape the culture in the sphere into which you've been assigned. God bless you, and thank you. Congratulations, class of 2019. This year, the Board of Trustees of William Jessup University has chosen as a graduation speaker 
and recipient of an honorary doctorate, an individual who's a nationally renowned Christian leader, spokesperson, pastor, author, and executive producer. Most importantly, he has a passion for following Christ and serving him in the public square. An honorary doctorate is the highest award conferred by this university. It's reserved for and awarded to an individual who has achieved acknowledged eminence in cultural affairs or Christian leadership or public service or in a field of knowledge and scholarship or in the case of today's recipient, all of the above. In Europe, awarding the honorary doctorate dates back to 1478 and Oxford College. In the US, the on doc was first awarded to a man by the name of Increase Mather by Harvard College. Increase Mather was a, an influential public servant and Puritan minister. In part, the purpose of the, this doctorate is to elevate the example of leaders, scholars, and public servants whose commitments to excellence and service we encourage our students, our graduates, to strive to emulate. Today's recipient will receive the degree with the designation honoris causa, which translated means for the sake of honor. President Jackson and esteemed faculty, I'm pleased to present to you Reverend Samuel Rodriguez for the degree Doctor of Divinity, honoris causa. <laughs> Inside your commencement program, you'll see a list of Reverend Rodriguez or Pastor Sam or Sammy. You'll see a list of his notable accomplishments. As I was thinking about how to present him to you in a more full and complete way, I decided that I would depart from the written text, but I want you to see the written text. This is a man who has served faithfully in pastoral ministry, a man who has served faithfully on a variety of different a ministry boards and organization at the highest level of our nation, a man who has served faithfully with multiple presidencies, by the way, on different sides of the aisle, but he has faithfully led and ministered in those contexts, a man who most recently, as Dr. Jameson said, has now become involved in the cinematic arts and has uh, basically established a film, which I believe will be an award-winning film in time. It's receiving fantastic uh, uh, acclaim from the critics, and I personally have seen it. You should go see the movie Breakthrough. But I also want you to know that this man is a dear and deep personal friend. He is a man of integrity. He's a man of respect. And the honorary degree that we're offering to him today and awarding to him based on his accomplishments and his contribution, as Dr. Jameson said, is an award that fundamentally lifts up the concept of honor. My friend, Sam Rodriguez is a man who lives with, who receives, and who gives, and lives a life full of honor. Would you welcome Reverend Rodriguez to the platform? Reverend Rodriguez, in recognition of your professional accomplishments and your achievements, your commitments to excellence of thought and deed, and your unwavering commitment to and representation of our Lord Jesus Christ, I am pleased on behalf of the university to award you the degree Doctor of Divinity Honoris Causa. God bless you. Love you. Love you. And we have a really awesome, cool looking plaque, which I'm not gonna make you hold while you speak, okay? Beautiful. God bless you. Thank you, thank you. I am honored, I am honored and blessed beyond words here. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. Are there any questions? Honored beyond words. Thank you. Dr. John Jackson, without a doubt, one of the most influential minds in the kingdom and the body of Christ today. Thank you to all the trustees, 
alumni, friends, and family of this amazing class of 2019. I am honored and blessed by this privilege, by this honor, and by this recognition. Let me speak to you what's in my heart here today. Let me begin by stating the obvious as it pertains to the changes taking place, the world you're stepping into, a world of Netflix binging and camel macchiato and matcha green tea <laughs> and the Avengers without, okay, we'll not that, but it's not that. <laughs> By the way, that's just not right. <laughs> Here's the news. <laughs> what kind of world are you stepping into? And all you have to do is turn on Fox and CNN, ABC, NBC, CBS, Univision, and Telemundo. <laughs> the only way to stay Telemundo is Telemundo. And you, you're stepping into a world that can best be described as, let me see, different on steroids. Uh, a bit chaotic and to a great degree, we can't deny the fact it's a bit broken. Broken by sin and immorality, moral relativism, spiritual apathy, cultural decadence, infanticide, pornography, poverty, violence, racism, watered down preaching, hypocrisy, unbridled consumerism, voyeurism, materialism, secular tyranny, terror, discord, bigotry, division, strife, injustice, hatred, jealousy, and unbelief. Yep, that's the world you're stepping into. Can it be changed? Absolutely. Do I think it can be changed? Yes. Do I believe it will be changed? Yes. Do I believe that there's a commitment to changing it? Yes. Why? Because today we have a class graduating, the class of 2019, who is, stands fully committed in the name of Jesus to changing this world with truth and love. Matter of fact, righteousness and justice, Psalm 89, 14, righteousness and justice are the foundation of your throne. Unfailing, here it is, unfailing love and truth in that order. Love and truth stand before you as attendants. Another version would read the following. Love and truth lead the way. Love and truth lead the way. Love and truth lead the way. You will change this world with love and truth. 1 John chapter 4, verse 12, no one has ever seen God. No one. But if we love each other, God lives in us. We begin with love. We begin with love. Throughout the myriad expressions of love in all of human history, there's only one perfect, unbridled, unadulterated, unprecedented expression of love. This love, this love, this radical, transformative, beautiful, truth-telling, grace-filled, redemptive, sanctifying, righteous love cannot be defined by culture. This love that I'm referencing cannot be legislated by politicians. This love cannot be captivated by ideologies or societal trends. This love cannot be modified to accommodate the worldview of each corresponding generation. This love is not a variable. This love is a constant. This love is more than a construct, an emotion, an idea, or a philosophy. This love is a being. This love is a person. This love said, let there be light. This love clothed Adam and Eve after the fall. This love stood by Moses in the desert as he saw the others proceed to the promise. This love empowered Samson in the midst of a Colosseum, redeeming his failure. This love took Gideon out of the threshing floor and restored for David the joy of his salvation. This love was born in a manger and baptized in the Jordan. This love changed water into wine, fishermen into fisher of men, and sinners into saints. This love walked on water, turned tables, and broke bread. This love told Zacchaeus to come down, Lazarus to come forth, and to the woman at the well, this love said, go and sin no more. This love died on the cross, and on the third day, this love resurrected. This love ascended. This love sent the Holy Spirit, and get ready for this. This love is coming back again. And when we embrace this love, the love of God, the love that is God, we are driven, compelled, required, and commanded to love one another. For with this love, we are not called just to tolerate. We are called to love one another. You can change the world with love. When we love one another, when we love one another,
The donkey and the elephant cannot divide us because the lamb and the lion of the tribe of Judah unites us. When we love one another, we see the image of God in each other. When we love one another, we elevate the truth that every life in and out of the womb carries God-designated value. When we love one another, the giant of bigotry, racism, discord, and strife is brought down by the stone of charity. When we love one another, we bless those that curse us, we forgive those that condemn us, and we lift up those that attempt to break us down. It's time for you, class of 2019, to reclaim the love mantle. The most loving institution on the planet must be the Church of Jesus. Because simply stated, you can't find this love on Google. Siri can't provide it and Amazon Prime cannot deliver it. <laughs> this love can only emerge when grace floods repentance with righteousness, peace, and joy. It's time for a love revolution. And by the way, you may say, but this world is so fragmented and full of fear. Let not your heart be troubled because perfect love expels all fear. It's love, but not just love, it's likewise truth. Because if all we do, if, if I speak to you exclusively about love and tell you to change the world with love, it's a hippie speech. <laughs> it really is. Because the other side of the coin is truth. We read it, Psalm 89, 14. Love leads the way. It's love that enables us to share truth in and out of season. You shall know the truth, John 8, 32, and that truth will set you free. What truth am I talking about? The truth about identity, definitions, nomenclatures, descriptors, the truth about who you are, the truth about who we are collectively as the church, and more importantly, the truth about Jesus. It begins with this idea of who are we? There's an attack about who you are, your identity. Who are we? What defines you? You need to know who you are in order to change the world with truth and love. You need to know the truth about yourself. Who are you? What defines you? Are you defined by your past? Are you defined by your circumstances? Are you defined by what others say about you? Here's the truth. You're not defined by what surrounds you. You're defined by God's spirit inside of you. You're not defined by your circumstance. You are defined by his covenant. You're not defined by the hell you're going through. You're defined by the heaven you're going to. You're not defined by your failures. You're defined by his forgiveness. For all of my Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram brothers and sisters, you're not defined by the likes of many. Like, 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 posting, ghosting, mosting, like, 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 like. You're not defined by the likes of many. You're defined by the love of one. And for all of our religious folk in the house, you're not even defined by what you do for God, you're defined by what God already did for you. <laughs> you're defined by the cross, the empty tomb, the upper room, his blood, his word. You're defined by the Father, the Son, y el Espíritu Santo. You're defined by Galatians 2.20, my old self has been crucified of Christ. It is no longer I who lives, but Christ lives in me. The truth about who you are, the truth that we collectively are the church. We are not anything else but the church of Jesus. And the gates of hell will not prevail against us. And the truth about Christ, that name, that name. I was invited. I've had the privilege by the grace of God, 1 Corinthians 15.10. I've had the privilege of serving in some sort of advisory capacity to three presidents, both on the donkey side and the elephant side. <laughs> and, and I have values that I will never sacrifice on the altar of political expediency, without a doubt. The value commitment to life and the sanctity of life, to preserving religious liberty and to doing biblical justice. But this, this recent president, uh, and again, I've served across the board with President Bush, President Obama, and this, I was coming out, in full disclosure, and I have someone here to bear witness to this story, I was coming out of a restaurant next to San Francisco in the San Rafael area. My wife and I, my wife is a native of an island in the Caribbean called Puerto Rico. And yeah, Jennifer Lopez, eat your heart out, baby. <laughs> there she is right here on my right hand side. Not Jennifer, my wife, I have to put that in context. This will go viral. So, my, 
So we came out of a Puerto Rican restaurant. Two stories, you could bear witness to this. We're coming out of the restaurant, and we're eating this, this crushed plantain, garlic, shrimp. Um, it's called mofongo. You have to taste it. It's delicious. Just Google it. It's pretty amazing. Anyway, that's a different story. So we came out of the restaurant, and we're, you know, we're driving back to Sacramento, and all of a sudden, I get a call. And here's what took place. The call is like, you know, we're looking for Reverend Rodriguez. Thought it was the IRS. So I went like, <laughs> who, who, who's calling? And they went, Reverend Rodriguez, we're calling on behalf of the president-elect. His inaugural committee would like to invite you to participate in the inauguration. I thought it was a joke. I thought, Tony, is that you again? <laughs> and he went, no, we're actually calling you. It's my name, blah, blah. And I'm going, wow, sir, I'm, 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 I'm floored. Uh, what do you want me to do? Well, the president-elect would like you to participate in the inauguration. And to what degree, sir, he would like you to participate? <laughs> Okay, to do what, sir? Uh, to participate. <laughs> to pray, to read scripture. Well, you mean on stage? Yes, sir. You mean in front of the, world, the entire world? Yes, sir. So I looked at my wife, she looked at me, and this is my response, I kid you not. <laughs> True story, I'm not making this, just like this. Can I call you back? The person went, pardon me? <laughs> I went, I, I, I am so honored, but can I, spend, can I take some time to, to, pray, to, pray, to pray about this? The person was like, like stunned, like, okay. And I went, brilliant. The person said, will two weeks suffice? I went, yes. They went, well, I guess I'll call you back in two weeks. And I went, Yes! And he went, thank you? And I said, you're welcome? <laughs> Awkward, man. Bluetooth, boom. She's looking at me, it's just my wife and I. And I'm going, can you believe this? I'm being invited, this is one billion people around the world watching live. Can, we, we need to pray, call the intercessors, call up Elder Carla, call up the team. We just gotta pray. Now, the reason why I hesitated is because my church is, by the grace of God, the one I pastor is very multi-ethnically diverse. It's 40% Anglo, which is the code word for white. 40% African-American, which means black, and 20% confused. So my church, very multi-ethnically diverse. I'm kidding you not, my mind was telling me if I do this, what's gonna happen is this. You may lose a part of your church. I'm, I kid you not, I'm thinking layoffs, you know, cuts, budget cuts, because the, the politics are so divisive and all that. So I'm thinking, what do I do? So she's looking at me and going like, what are you doing? And I'm going, well, we have to pray. She goes, what are you doing? I go, pray what? She went, I was there when you were 14 years of age in an Assembly of God church in Pennsylvania when God said you were gonna end up praying for leaders in high places, for presidents and so forth. I, I was there when you were 14, by the way. When I was 14, she saw that, she married up because she thought she was going to, you know, and so it really worked. She's a, that's a brilliant woman. I'm totally kidding. But so she said, basically, what are you doing? What are you looking for confirmation, man? This is part of destiny. How can you say no to lifting up the name of our Lord and Savior? So there it is. She's Puerto Rican. They don't play. <laughs> so the day of the inauguration came around. Obviously, I said yes. And, and I, I accepted two weeks later, he called me up and then I, I finally said yes. And I asked one question and said, will you censor my speech? Will you tell me what to say and not to say? Will you edit? Will you remove things? The person interrupted me, so help me God and said, Reverend Rodriguez, stop for a second. We invited you because we want you to share on that day whatever the spirit tells you to share. All right. So here it is, let me land this. So we get there's the day of the inauguration. I'm standing on, I'm, sitting, I'm seated here behind the presidents. I was hiding behind the bushes. <laughs> you think I'm making that up like to make, so help me God, it's true. The bushes were right here and I was hiding right behind them. And, and the Clintons were here, the Obamas were here. And I get a text from Lauren, who's a student of William Jessup, graduates next year. And I'm sitting, and I get a text from Lauren randomly, right before I go up, Lauren Rodriguez. So Lauren texts me and she says, never, my daughter respects me. She's never spoken to me this way. I get a text, I'm about to go up. And I get this text from Lauren, dad, shut your mouth. <laughs> so help me. I, I text back and went, pardon me? 
She went, no, Dad, you're on Fox. Your mouth is open right now. Close your mouth right now. You need... <laughs> so I went. <laughs> and then it happened. They called me up right after the Cardinal from New York. They called me up, and there was a name that wasn't mentioned on that podium for 11 years, so I went up there beforehand. A reporter asked me before I spoke, Reverend Rodriguez, if you're going to do this, tell me you're not going to mention the name. And I went, what name? She went, you know the name. I went, I knew the name. And I went, what name? And she went, you know, if you mention that name, you're alienating the country. You're speaking to one group of people. It's divisive. And it's just my optic. Please tell me you're not going to mention the name. So I went, you're going to have to watch. So I went up there. I finished my speech on Matthew 5 and what God had, the Holy Spirit had placed in my heart. And I looked at the cameras all around the world, 1.1 billion people watching. And I said, I respectfully make this declaration and this prayer. Looked at the cameras and said, first time in 11 years on that podium, and said, in, respectfully, in the name of Jesus Christ, my Lord and Savior. That's what the presidents did. Google it. Members of Congress can't swear to the Supreme Court. But everyone else, people were clapping. The audience was clapping. I was getting text messages from leadership all around the world. Reverend Rodriguez, you dare to mention the name of Jesus. We applaud you. Why was there such a great response? Because here it is. Here's the truth. Here's the truth. Look, you know, love and truth. Here's the truth. There is still power in the name of Jesus. There is power in that name. There really is power in that name. So I encourage you not only to share, change the world with love, but with truth. It takes conviction to repent, courage to speak truth, holiness to seek God, faith to move mountains, and love to change the world. So class of 2019, you can do this. You can share that truth, but it, you must lead this truth with love. Love those that do not look like you. Love those that do not speak like you. Love those that do not vote like you. Love God. Love your neighbor. Love your enemies. Love yourself. Love one another. And with love and truth leading the way, do one thing. Change the world. God bless you. Before we take our next step of the ceremony, which is to make several student awards, I want to correct one thing my dear, beloved brother said. And I want to pay special tribute and honor to the person in human flesh who makes possible everything that Sam Rodriguez does. Eva Rodriguez, thank you for being here today. And next time we go to Starbucks, you're paying. Okay. What a great opportunity to gather together and now to pay tribute to some special students. We have some student awards. Every student is special, but in this particular case, we have some special awards. Our very first award is the Addison Carlson Award. This is chosen by the Bay Area School of Professional Studies faculty and staff, and this award recognizes the outstanding student for a demonstrated commitment to community service, to ministry, to care for the poor, and to lifelong learning. The recipient of this year's Addison Carlson Memorial Award is Gregory Goldfield. Gregory, come on up. Our next award is the Outstanding Adult Degree Completion Student Award. Chosen by the Rockland Adult Degree Completion faculty and staff, this award recognizes the student who exhibits commitment to his or her fellow students, excellence in scholarship, exemplary Christian character, and demonstrated leadership. 
The recipient of this year's Outstanding Adult Degree Completion Student Award is Michelle L. Bauman. Navigating college is not the last challenge you're gonna face in life, okay? <laughs> there are a lot of challenges. Let's honor Michelle again. Our next award is the Katie Butterworth Award. This award is sponsored by the Butterworth family and selected by the faculty to recognize that woman who best evidences through her life and ministry those qualities of a worthy woman described in Proverbs 31. This year's recipient of the Katie Butterworth Award is Kylie Lush. No. <laughs> In this case, Kylie, thank you for being a rule follower. Hey dudes, if you're laughing, you could never wear those things and walk, I promise you. <laughs> Stop your laughing. Founders Award. This award, selected by the faculty, honors that male graduate who best exemplifies the spirit and character of founding president, William L. Jessup. This year's recipient of the Founders Award is Mario Andres Davila. And our final award is entitled the Faculty Award. This honor, given by the faculty and by their selection, is WJU's highest recognition award for scholarship, service to the university, ministry to the church, and personal Christian character. This year's recipient of the Faculty Award is Kayla Marina Curtis. I'm a dude and it's still hard to walk over that step. It's dark. At this point in our program, I'd like to turn our attention towards those seated behind me on the platform, a portion of the distinguished faculty of this university. The success of this university, moreover any university, its reputation, its societal contributions, and in a very real way, the achievements of its graduates is built on the strength and character of these individuals. As a Christian university, WJU is further distinguished by the fact 
that these men and women are passionate people of faith and they love their students and are committed to helping them achieve their greatest life potential. Year after year, the graduating students tell us that among the experiences that they've most enjoyed and valued while enrolled at this institution has been the opportunity to get to know and be mentored by this exceptional group of men and women. They're experts in their respective fields. They're renowned for their scholarship and their commitment to excellence and their caring concern for you, the well-being and success of their students. So graduates and friends, I know this is your day and we are here to celebrate you, but I think I would be remiss if I didn't give you, our graduating class, the opportunity to express your appreciation to your faculty. One other small notation is that after 25 years, one of our most distinguished and senior faculty members at the university is moving on. Take, in fact, uh, an example throughout her career at the university, she's an example for you as graduates. Dr. Portia Hopkins, Dr. Portia Hopkins is leaving to pursue her education in ministry. So she'll be leaving us at the end of this semester. Dr. Hopkins, will you stand for just a second and let us recognize you? And now for the moment we've all been waiting for, will our graduates please stand? As you commence today, you will receive a diploma and a towel. The diploma reflects your hard work and academic accomplishments to date. The towel represents our Lord's example of humility and service and is a reminder that while your degrees will open doors for you, our hope and prayer is that your future will be grounded in Jesus' example of serving others. Today's graduates who are graduating with honors will be distinguished when their names are read and they'll be wearing gold cords around their necks to signify this accomplishment. And master's degree recipients will be wearing special hoods that distinguish them for their academic achievements as well. President Jackson and members of the Board of Trustees, on behalf of the faculty, I commend to you these students as worthy graduates of William Jessup University, having fulfilled the requirements for an academic certificate or a bachelor's degree or a master's degree. Thank you, Dr. Jameson. On behalf of the State of California, the Board of Trustees, the Administration, and the faculty of William Jessup University, it is my honor as President to confer upon you certificates, the degrees of Bachelor of Arts, Bachelor of Science, Master of Arts, and Master of Business Administration, and to declare you graduates of William Jessup University. with all the rights and privileges pertaining thereto. Graduates, prepare to commence. Joined with my life, I sing in vain tonight. So may the words I say and the things I do make my life so sing, bring a smile to you. Let 
Renee Michelle Siebold, Certificate in Addiction Studies with Distinction. <laughs> Tiffany F. Smith, Certificate in Addiction Studies with Distinction. Stephen L. Smith, Certificate in Addiction Studies. <laughs> Eric B. Schuler, Certificate in Addiction Studies.
Katie Grace Elizabeth Sassenroth, Bachelor of Science, Psychology, with distinction. Victoria Elizabeth Lanning, Bachelor of Arts, Youth Ministry, Summa Cum Laude. Kevin Henderson, Bachelor of Arts, Youth Ministry. Micah O. Gunter, Bachelor of Arts, History. <laughs> Noah Dean Masanori Shackles, Bachelor of Science, Business. Tristan John Prablinski, Bachelor of Science, Computer Science. <laughs> Kiana Leilani Buick, Bachelor of Science, Kinesiology. <laughs> oh, one Morgan Brianne Pomeroy, Bachelor of Arts, Psychology. Lily Haggerty, Bachelor of Science, Business. <laughs> Jasmine King, Bachelor of Arts, Psychology. Kaylee Stevie Sorrell, Bachelor of Arts, Liberal Studies. Ashlyn Jones, Bachelor of Science, Kinesiology. Anissa Reina Smith, Bachelor of Science, Business. <laughs> Jessica Yi, Bachelor of Science, Business. <laughs> Ruben Qualls, Bachelor of Science, Psychology, Certificate in Addiction Studies, Magna Cum Laude. Gregory Goldfield, Bachelor of Science, Psychology, Summa Cum Laude. Erica Melissa Rice, Bachelor of Science, Psychology, with distinction. Rachel Kraft, Bachelor of Science, Psychology, Summa Cum Laude. Ann A. Foster, Bachelor of Arts, Mathematics, Summa Cum Laude. Sarah Elizabeth Todd, Bachelor of Arts, Public Policy, Cum Laude. Taryn Robertson, Bachelor of Arts, Liberal Studies. Samantha Avolacino, Bachelor of Arts, Psychology, Summa Cum Laude. Paula Alarcon, Bachelor of Science, Kinesiology. Caitlin Marguerite 
Elliott, Bachelor of Science, Kinesiology. Miranda Montoya, Bachelor of Arts, Psychology. S. Grace Payne, Bachelor of Arts, Public Policy. Michaela Marie Lemance, Bachelor of Science, Kinesiology, Summa Cum Laude. Brooke Christine Cerro, Bachelor of Arts, History. Karina Destiny Salinas, Bachelor of Science, Kinesiology. Jenna Pauline Ovens, Bachelor of Arts, Environmental Science. Jenna Brielle Patterson, Bachelor of Science, Business, Magna Cum Laude. Stephanie Amber Scott, Bachelor of Science, Business. Jody Lee Sassenrath, Bachelor of Arts, Liberal Studies, Cum Laude. Chena Emsley, Bachelor of Arts, Liberal Studies, Magna Cum Laude. You go. Connor Corbin, Bachelor of Arts, Liberal Studies, Magna Cum Laude. Crystal Oliver, Bachelor of Arts, Liberal Studies, with Distinction. Bethany Grace Mandon, Bachelor of Arts, Liberal Studies, Cum Laude. Madison Claire Smith, Bachelor of Arts, Psychology. Andrea Catherine Jokes, Bachelor of Arts, Christian Leadership, Cum Laude. Jennifer Rose Howard, Bachelor of Arts, Christian Leadership. Yeah, Hannah Marie Jordan, Bachelor of Arts, Christian Leadership. This is number nine. Kodiak Michael Miller, Bachelor of Arts, Pastoral Ministry. Blake Christopher Cox, Bachelor of Arts, Christian Leadership, with distinction. Oksana Lavrushak, Bachelor of Science, Psychology. Jolene Herbert Stockton, Bachelor of Science, Psychology, with distinction. Christy Taylor, Bachelor of Science, Psychology, Magna Cum Laude. <laughs> Sheila Szymanski, Bachelor of Science, Psychology, with distinction. Kimberly Jean Carter, Bachelor of Science, Psychology, Summa Cum Laude. Jamie Remy, Bachelor of Arts, Visual and Fine Arts. Okay. 
Fiza Sharma, Bachelor of Arts, Visual and Fine Arts. Ashley Burbridge, Bachelor of Arts, Visual and Fine Arts, magna cum laude. <laughs> Elizabeth Bernston, Bachelor of Arts, Visual and Fine Arts, summa cum laude. <laughs> Scott McIntosh, Bachelor of Arts, Youth Ministry. Marin McKinley Waitman, Bachelor of Arts, Mathematics, summa cum laude. Jackson Arnett, Bachelor of Arts, Pastoral Ministry. Taylor Lane Gibbs, Bachelor of Arts, Christian Leadership. Kayla Marina Curtis, Bachelor of Arts, Bible and Theology, Psychology, Summa Cum Laude. Erica Grizzofi, Bachelor of Arts, Liberal Studies, Summa Cum Laude. Catherine Ellen Kuhn, Bachelor of Arts, Liberal Studies, Summa Cum Laude. Maria Noel Whitcomb, Bachelor of Arts, Christian Leadership. Christopher Paul Hatch, Bachelor of Arts, Liberal Studies. Marlia Raylan Landini, Bachelor of Arts, Liberal Studies, Magna Cum Laude. Lauren McRae Moore, Bachelor of Arts, Psychology, Cum Laude. Zachary Tidro, Bachelor of Arts, Christian Leadership, Cum Laude. Jack Lewis Olson, Bachelor of Arts, Music. Jonathan Michael Kazan, Bachelor of Arts, Music. Rebecca Crawford Gualierdi, Bachelor of Science, Organizational Leadership. <laughs> Courtney Jenna Skinner, Bachelor of Arts, Public Policy. <laughs> Sierra Word, Bachelor of Arts, Psychology. Samantha Gutierrez, Bachelor of Science, Business, Cum Laude. <laughs> Kalena Young, Bachelor of Arts, Psychology, Magna, Cum Laude. <laughs> Kaylee Harlan, Bachelor of Science, Business. Austin Alexander Rosenberg, Bachelor of Science, Business, Magna Cum Laude. Aaron Nicholas Hanks, Bachelor of Arts, History, Magna Cum Laude.
Lydia Brown, Bachelor of Science, Business. Bethany Lee Hayes, Bachelor of Science, Psychology, with distinction. Caitlin Nicole Hale, Bachelor of Science, Psychology, Magna Cum Laude. Ashley Elizabeth Bushnell, Bachelor of Science, Psychology. Austin Jordan Combs, Bachelor of Science, Business Administration. David A. Bisbee, Bachelor of Science, Organizational Leadership, Magna Cum Laude. John Russell Lee II, Bachelor of Science, Psychology. John Andy Barron, Bachelor of Science, Christian Leadership. DJ Sinsley, Bachelor of Science, Christian Leadership with Distinction. Armonium Warku, Bachelor of Science, Christian Leadership. Nikki Marie Perales, Bachelor of Arts, Liberal Studies. Janelle Marie Schuett, Bachelor of Science, Kinesiology. Oh, one second. Cassidy Meadow Gray, Bachelor of Arts, Psychology, Cum Laude. Yvette Perez, Bachelor of Science, Business. Ali Nicole Roca, Bachelor of Science, Kinesiology. Emily Van Dyke, Bachelor of Science, Kinesiology, Cum Laude. Oh, sorry. Yeah, that's right. Can I go? Uh, one second. Olivia Marcel Liu, Bachelor of Science, Kinesiology, Magna Cum Laude. Oh, thanks. Cassandra Johnson, Bachelor of Arts, Music. Jacqueline McCourt, Bachelor of Arts, Creative Arts, History. J. Joshua Maudlin, Bachelor of Science, Business. Tate de la Viaga, Bachelor of Science, Business, Cum Laude. Kindle Mendez, Bachelor of Arts, Psychology. Taylor Elizabeth Creech, Bachelor of Arts, Psychology. Chancellor Dimitri Ortega, Bachelor of Arts, Psychology, Summa Cum Laude. Emily Nicole Fenner, Bachelor of Arts Psychology, Magna Cum Laude. Robin Alexis Moore, Bachelor of Arts Psychology. Emmanuel Cervantes, Bachelor of Science, Business Administration.
Adriana Ramirez, Bachelor of Science, Business Administration, with distinction. Lorraine Francis McClintock, Bachelor of Science, Business Administration, with distinction. Rocio Gonzalez, Bachelor of Science, Organizational Leadership. Brianna Kaylin Miskimen, Bachelor of Arts, Liberal Studies, Summa Cum Laude. Nicholas Sebastian Garcia, Bachelor of Science, Business. Mario Andres de Villa, Bachelor of Science, Business, Bible and Theology, Magna Cum Laude. Salem Sierra Goodson, Bachelor of Science, Business, Cum Laude. Omar Jacob Magana, Bachelor of Science, Business, Summa Cum Laude. Connor Bradley Entz, Bachelor of Science, Business. Brendan Scott Dellinger, Bachelor of Arts, English. Justin Halverson, Bachelor of Arts, History. Stephen Barham, Bachelor of Science, Kinesiology. Leander F. Carter, Jr., Bachelor of Science, Kinesiology. Austin DeWitt, Bachelor of Science, Biology. Michaela Steubenrock, Bachelor of Science, Kinesiology. Alvaro Gomez, Bachelor of Science, Business. Abran Arellano, Bachelor of Science, Business with Distinction. Dejon Twist, Bachelor of Science, Business with Distinction. Paul Merlick, Bachelor of Science, Business, Summa Cum Laude. Alexander J. Lettington, Bachelor of Science, Business. Chandler Marcus Gwynn, Bachelor of Science, Business. Brandon Michael Vila, Bachelor of Science, Business. Matthew Garrett Jasper, Bachelor of Science, Kinesiology. Sydney Madison Molander, Bachelor of Arts, Liberal Studies. Alexander Gerard Nesakevich, the fourth Bachelor of Science, Business. Thanks. Garrett Anderson Case, Bachelor of Science, Business. Joshua Thomas Dutzman, 
Bachelor of Arts, Psychology. Amanda Laurel, Laurel Busma, Bachelor of Arts, Liberal Studies. Okay. okay. Emily Hope Borges, Bachelor of Arts, Liberal Studies, Cum Laude. Okay. <laughs> Jesse Charles Herzer, Bachelor of Arts, Public Policy, Cum Laude. Parker Doyle, Bachelor of Arts, Public Policy, with distinction. Jordan James Uli, Bachelor of Arts, Public Policy, summa cum laude. Clarence Davis Douglas, Jr., Bachelor of Arts, Public Policy. Nathaniel J. Mitzi, Bachelor of Science, Business. Daniel Scott Connolly, Bachelor of Science, Business. Robin Grace Lilly, Bachelor of Arts, Theater. Summa cum laude. Oh my gosh. Carlin Elizabeth Leander, Bachelor of Arts, Theater. Summa cum laude. Morgan Whitney Mena, Bachelor of Arts, Theater. Emily. Shalene Lemos, Bachelor of Arts, Theater. Faith Ernst, Bachelor of Arts, Theater, Magna Cum Laude. Joshua Wesley Setledge, Bachelor of Science, Kinesiology. Gabriel Avila Varelis, Bachelor of Science, Kinesiology. Amanda Barthelmus, Bachelor of Arts, Psychology, Summa Cum Laude. Kylie Nicole Lush, Bachelor of Arts, English, Summa Cum Laude. Ludmila Miranyak Golub, Bachelor of Arts, English. Mackenzie Taylor Reader Esparza, Bachelor of Arts, English. Asal Gassami, Bachelor of Arts, English, magna cum laude. Aubrey Muffet, Bachelor of Arts, English. <laughs> Maisie Susan Silva, Bachelor of Science, Business. Marissa Olarte, Bachelor of Science, Business. Blake Ferrari, Bachelor of Science, Business, Cum Laude. Ruth Bosco, Bachelor of Science, Business, with distinction. Nicholas Bernardoni, Bachelor of Science, Business.
Christopher Veet, Bachelor of Science, Business. Ricky Ho Wai Lam, Bachelor of Science, Business. Grace Yi, Bachelor of Science, Kinesiology, Summa Cum Laude. Samantha Ann Scow, Bachelor of Arts, Psychology, Summa Cum Laude. Gabriella Chan, Bachelor of Science, Business, Summa Cum Laude. Michelle Clara Muniz, Bachelor of Arts, English, Music, Magna Cum Laude. Rachel Martino, Bachelor of Arts, Liberal Studies, Summa Cum Laude. Brandon Kimo Kapu, Bachelor of Science, Biology. Thank you, Eric. Hey, congratulations. Derek Meglia, Bachelor of Arts, Psychology. Mackenzie Donald Collins, Bachelor of Arts, Environmental Science, Magna Cum Laude. Hey, Paul. Hey, man. Hey. Paul Singh Jr., Bachelor of Arts, Psychology. Hey. Abigail Battenfield, Bachelor of Arts, Psychology. Dylan Cook, Bachelor of Science, Computer Science. Devin Rudd, Bachelor of Science, Computer Science. Quentin Kurdeman, Bachelor of Science, Computer Science, Magna Cum Laude. Jared R. Ellen Miller, Bachelor of Arts, English, Magna Cum Laude. Okay, sure. Thank you. Evan Campbell, Bachelor of Arts, English, Summa Cum Laude. Autumn Olivia Louise Fox, Bachelor of Science, Biology. Magna Cum Laude. Jennifer Lynn Sandlin, Bachelor of Science, Organizational Leadership, Cum Laude. Michelle L. Bauman, Bachelor of Science, Organizational Leadership, with Distinction. Susie Aguirre, Bachelor of Science, Organizational Leadership. Jordan Alexandria Farr, Bachelor of Science, Organizational Leadership. Jenny Reyes Scafani. Bachelor of Science, Business Administration. Alicia Michelle Kentz, Bachelor of Science, Organizational Leadership, Cum Laude. Tyler Brendan Gustafson, Bachelor of Science, Business Administration with Distinction. 
Kyle Edward Stewart, Bachelor of Science, Business Administration with Distinction. Tawny Elise Davis, Bachelor of Science, Business Administration. Mindy Holmquist, Bachelor of Science, Business Administration, cum laude. Nicole Lena Bradshaw, Bachelor of Science, Business Administration, with distinction. Vladimir Gushtuk, Bachelor of Science, Business Administration, magna cum laude. Arian Larios Guzman, Bachelor of Science, Business Administration, with distinction. Ina Vasilio, Bachelor of Science, Business Administration, with distinction. Cheyenne Elise Fisher, Bachelor of Science, Biology, with distinction. Megan Ashley Evers, Bachelor of Science, Biology, summa cum laude. Jamie Beth Carlson, Bachelor of Science, Biology, magna cum laude. Kristen Nicole Waldemir, Bachelor of Arts, English, summa cum laude. James Rogers, Bachelor of Science, Psychology. Andrew Ryan Sakabu, Bachelor of Science, Business. Jacob Delaney, Bachelor of Arts, Theology with Distinction. Eric Giuseppe Ramazzini, Bachelor of Arts, Biblical Studies. Anthony Justin Leake, Bachelor of Arts, Biblical Studies. June Holstrom, Bachelor of Science, Organizational Leadership. Tatiana Wheeler, Bachelor of Science, Business Administration. Congratulations, certificates and bachelor's degrees. It is my pleasure to now welcome our master degree candidates to the stage. Bradley Fisher, Master of Arts, Teaching. Riley M. Nethercutt, Master of Arts, Teaching. Michelle D. Cox, Master of Arts, Teaching. Alexandra Mary Van Maren Anderson, Master of Arts, Teaching. Laurel Elizabeth Melnick, Master of Arts, Teaching. Kristen Fortier, Master of Arts, Teaching. <laughs> Uriel Moreno, Master of Arts, Education. Gabrielle Marie Langford, Master of Arts, Education. Mindy Marie Smith, Master of Arts, Education. Okay. 
Monique Natasha Williams, Master of Arts, Education. Nicholas Allen Breitbart, Master of Arts, Education. <laughs> Kelly Ann Jacobson, Master of Arts, Leadership. <laughs> Brittany Rose Walker, Master of Arts, Leadership. Stephanie Ann Moss, Master of Arts, Leadership. Sabrina Jean Johnson, Master of Arts, Leadership. Jacob Andrew Baking, Master of Arts, Leadership. Rowan's Belog Belongi, Master of Arts, Leadership. Steve Edward Gilmore, Master of Arts, Leadership. John Allen, Master of Arts, Leadership. Robert B. Guild, Master of Arts, Leadership. What's that? You can go ahead and start if you want to. Brenna Ray Holloway, Master of Arts, Teaching. Gregory Goldner, Master of Arts, Teaching. Alexandria Goodrich, Master of Arts, Teaching. <laughs> Susan E. Rath, Master of Arts, Teaching. Belinda Maria Silva, Master of Arts, Teaching. Parmjeet Kaur Bra, Master of Arts, Teaching. Elizabeth Doreen Davila, Master of Arts, Teaching. Michael Edward Conklin, Master of Arts, Teaching. Jordan Duran, Master of Arts, Teaching. Dina Shiloh, Master of Arts, Teaching. Krista Ann Worthington, Master of Arts, Teaching. Alyssa Janelle Chang Martin, Master of Arts, Teaching. Demisha Von Zabore, Master of Arts, Teaching. It's okay. Lori Daleen McCann. Lori Daleen McCann, Master of Arts, Teaching. Kevin James Rouse, 
Master of Arts, Teaching. Simon Vincent Barros. Simon Vincent Barros IV, Master of Arts, Teaching. Jesse Wayne Dunn, Master of Arts, Teaching. Jennifer M. Teasdale, Master of Arts, Teaching. Larissa Nefedoff, Master of Arts, Teaching. Annie Jow T. Dreyer, Master of Arts, Teaching. Christina Knox, Master of Arts, Teaching. Liesl Sherhall, Master of Arts, Teaching. Jeanette Zimney, Master of Arts, Teaching. Deepthi Dasari, Master of Business Administration. Debopriya Choudhury, Master of Business Administration. King Shuk Roy, Master of Business Administration. Michael Robert Huntington, Master of Business Administration. Benjamin Turner, Master of Business Administration. Brennan Rakos, Master of Business Administration. Brooke Oliver, Masters of Business Administration. <laughs> Ying Lo, Master of Business Administration. Otkong Bayar Mondok. Master of Business Administration. <laughs> Jennifer Lynn Lillibridge, Master of Business Administration. <laughs> Janice Barajas, Master of Business Administration. Vidya Varadarajan, Master of Business Administration. Lily Romanoff, Master of Business Administration. Dennis Y. Nishihara the second. Master of Business Administration. Gregory M. McNamara, Master of Business Administration. Congratulations, Master Degree graduates.
At this time, I'd like to welcome to the platform Mr. Kurt Leander. Kurt is the Vice President of Public Affairs for Focus on the Family. He is also the father of Carlin. Kurt, would you come? And he will give a word of prayer. And graduates, do not move after the prayer. <laughs> yes, the proud father of Carlin Elizabeth. Where are you, Carlin? I got to see you. There you are. Congratulations. We've invested much here in this place. <laughs> we have a lot to be thankful for. We have a, a God that is uh, the father of yesterday, today, and tomorrows. He's the God of the past, the present, and the future. So let's pray for those three things, the, the past, the present, and the future. So if you'd bow your heads with me. Heavenly Father, getting to today, it's an amazing past. Uh, thank you for the the founders of William Jessup University, Father, for the leadership from San Jose Bible College to today with Dr. Jackson. Thank you, Lord. Thank you for the foundation that was laid. It's a foundation enabling us to get us to, to this point right now. And Father, we pray for the present. Lord, thank you for uh, each members of this graduating class. They made it. They set a goal and they accomplished it. And it was a mighty goal and it's a goal so few reach, but they did it. It took many hours of hard listening and studying, writing, and pursuing knowledge, but they did it. There were many books to read, papers to write, and exams to nail, but they did it. Lord, now give them wisdom because of it. And so, Lord, we also pray, too, for that respite that they need. Lord, give them a chance to catch their breath and get some much-needed sleep. But, Lord, there are needs today that need to be met from you. Lord, I pray for their next assignment. Some of them don't know what it's going to be. I pray, Lord, that you will provide that opportunity, whether it's a job or a career or wherever else they're going to serve you. Lord, answer that prayer, Father. Give them that next assignment. And, Lord, for those that have secured what's next, I pray for that, that they'll be blessed in their endeavor uh, and, and have it be an amazing experience as they move through their place in society. Lord, we thank you what Jessup has prepared them for to, to live in a rapidly changing culture with the constantly increasing challenges. Lord, they are what is ahead. But you have prepared them here for amazing things for them to do. So I pray, Lord, as they go from here, that they will do just that amazing things. Lord, I also want to pray for the future. Pray as, uh, that their faith that they found here will be grounded, grounded solidly. And then a faith that won't be rocked by what's coming at them. So I ask, Lord, that they will maintain their beliefs when the persecution comes and, and it is coming. So, Lord, give them the courage and the steadfastness to stand for your truth. Give them the ability to decipher your truth with all that will be coming at them. Have your truth be clear in all that they do. And, Lord, I pray, first and foremost, that they... As Samuel, Reverend Rodriguez said, that, that they will live lives of love. Father, that their lives will reflect the love that you modeled while on earth. That their lives will be, as you say in John 13, 34, it's a new commandment I give to you, that you love one another just as I have loved you. You are also to love one another. So that I pray that these new Jessup alums that will reflect love to all that they encounter. Father, when the opposition comes, and it's going to come, I pray that they will love even more. Help them to shower the world with the love that only can come from you. So, Lord, thank you for the past. Thank you for the present. And, Lord, today we thank you for the future. Thank you for never changing your love that you give to us, even when we so don't deserve it. Thank you that the future is bright because you are alive and well in this world and you are alive and well in our hearts. And for that, we are in eternally grateful. So, Father, in the name of Jesus Christ, our Lord, amen. Go get them. Family and friends, I want to encourage you to join us on the veranda after we're finished with the recessional. Would you please remain in your seats while we have the recessional uh, for these graduates? We want to all celebrate their accomplishments together. Graduates, would you please stand?
Graduates, the class of 2019, you may now turn your tassels. Congratulations, class of 2019.